about? And they all sing. And what did you, <laughs> yeah, what's your, what's your grand, what, what, what's your dad? You know, because when, when did he move over? When did he come over? Dad? When he was about eight, seven, eight years. You should hear, he should play the fiddle. My dad. Yeah, I yeah. heard him. Play. He used to play, and he'd sit at that piano and took up me. So I'd have to yeah. sit there and sit there, big, 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 big. Wanted to go outside and play, no music. Yeah. Really? <laughs> and he, you know, he could play the old time stuff that was really all the old uh, from the lumber camps and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, see, that's where he said, "Oh, some of the old lumberjacks." He said, "After uh, you know, what the hell? The Saturday? Well, Saturday they work Sundays because they have a little jamboree in, in, their, in, their, in their bunk houses." Yeah, we. What was there to do? Was the, we were out there before we were married. That they would, uh, people, and all the neighbors got together to roll out the carpet, and they were dancing and everything. <laughs> but now it's different. Now it's different. He, now. he, he took in. The, we got those pictures. You were really pretty of me when you were younger. He was. Um, oh, that. See, I wanted so I said, I've made one. But I mean, they really did one. good photography then. Oh was yeah, nice. where she took them, they did good. Yeah, yeah, he came yeah, from the old country when he was seven or eight years old. Yeah, well, what from about Posen? From Posen. What about, about Busha? She was born in Joliet. My my mom was born in Joliet, Illinois. Yeah. But, uh, but her her mother was my grandmother. They came over here. Huh? Oh yeah, she came over. She was she could speak German and Somebody Polish fluent. Oh, we she was right on the border. Oh, really? No wonder oh, that last one was born. Oh, and that is all. And she she sit Somebody there and she cry. The is what they, they do to that, that place, you know, she lived there, there The there. chain necklace. Yeah, well, you, don't know, you don't know, you don't know, you don't know anybody like that. Oh, yeah. Me? Yeah. I like that gold piece. Hell no! Oh, no. <laughs> you got no intention to go anywhere. Yeah. 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 Rose's neighbor, Marshall, they had a show there. So what have they got left over there? I mean, uh, I don't well, know. What'd you, what'd you dad do though there? Over there? Over, over, over here? here? The Lama Mills, he was there. Yeah, well, that was a farmer. He was a farmer and a builder. He built houses and... Barns and all that stuff. But, but they farmed. Farm. That's what he made it. But when they yeah. built, but when he built it, and they, didn't they do everything wrong? Not like today, did they? Oh, no, he, the he, he, they, 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 they for as far as the old big barns, you know. They had well, barn raising and all the neighbors that, coming in. That barn, or that house, that Ray had on the farm there. We built that, of course, he did my dad, but we smart. built the basement. We yeah. did, I, I, day on end for weeks, I drove a team. And he had a little slusher, you know, you dig it down, yeah. and you you go down and dig it in, take the dirt out, drive it around the hill, come back, take another one out, drive it up, dump it. And then you dig the damn corners out because you couldn't get in there. And then we took the team and we brought in big stones and we laid them in there. That's all foundation, that foundation is that wide, on a field stone. Huh. And to get the gravel, I never forget that sheet. He had an old 36 or an older one uh, truck, flatbed truck. So we went down by Plaharchik's uh, gravel pit that was on the South Fork of the Eau Claire River. North Fork. North Fork. That was South Fork. South Fork, yeah. <laughs> and uh, we back in, as close as he could get to where the, the river turned, you know, to the other way. And then the, uh, in the spring, they would bring all that gravel and sand around that and leave it there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Go on the other when the water was high. The roof was down there and about eight feet up. You shovel that damn stuff, sand, you know, for to make a mortar. To make cement. Yeah. Uh, eight feet. Eight feet. Oh, hotter than hell on her. You shovel me and then dig that stuff with a little shovel and throw it up until you get a load. On my, took us out two hours to get a load on. Oh. And hot. Then when we get it home, we shovel it off, of course. <laughs> That's a lot easier. <laughs> Uh, then, uh, then I had, we set up a a screen like this stuff. Only it was you know regular. Yeah. At the, it was a metal, mesh. Metal, yeah. Had it set up like that on boards, and we throw it on there, and the fine stuff would go there, and that's what I mixed, mixed by hand in a in a mud bath. And we had never had cement. <laughs> it cost money. He, your dad, I guess they they dug a hole in the ground, about five feet deep, four feet wide, something. And then they dump this line. You get it in chunks. You dump it in there and pour water on it. And then it make jello, just like jello. And that's what you'd use to, uh, for, uh, with the sand, I'd take three shovels of sand and one of that, dig down there and stuff and pour it up. Mix it in a, in a mud box, all by hand. Pour water and mix it. 
Take it out, then they'd use that for uh, mortar. They had the lay, lay it on the stone. What about the other kids? Who? We had the other kids help them too, or what? Everybody did, or what? Hell, I was the youngest. I had to do all that hard work. Uh, you were, <laughs> did you? Well, Vic was gone. He was working for Schmidt's on the farm. Hank was gone already. Okay. He was married. Remember you? We always called you Mighty Manford. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Mighty Manfred? I remember him. He was a cartoon. Uh, he laid on the back and then she threw up a hand to the Resting. Resting. That's like I do after meal, after dinner. Well, you something. knew that well, he'd meet me someday and he wouldn't have a chance to do it, so he was going to do it when he was little. Yeah, they got to go and rest. Did you see our Taj Mahal in there with the birds? Oh, yeah. yeah I, I mean, that, that is a palace of palaces for birds. How'd you meet Ma, though? Huh? I don't know. Was your dad kept you that busy? I wasn't been. I wasn't. Oh, been. I don't know. Yeah. I where did he just come over one day? No, no, what? no, I didn't come over there. No, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know. I don't What's know. the other side of the story? I don't even know. We're bad. I don't know. Don't you remember when you met? I know, we used to get together, all the neighbors. But, but yeah, but Pa wasn't doing yeah, close to him then. Yeah, yeah right across the road, the next house, next one. Really? Uh, yeah. About, about, uh, not Kitty Corner, it was, uh, well, there was probably an uh, eighth of a mile. Then he lived at the next farm, that's where they moved in. Then after that, they, that one was sold, and then he went over to the other place there. Then I had to drive three and a half miles. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's when he what, what's that? What's the words they used to use? Spooning and sparking back then, or whatever that was? I don't know what the hell ever it was. <laughs> but, you know. That must have been. But wait, hey, don't you don't you have them anymore at three day weddings? No, no, no that no. is a, that used to be years. Phyllis, I remember Phyllis's. I remember oh, that. They yeah. used to gather all the relatives to come the day before to cook and everything. Yeah, and that was different out in the farm. Yeah. The yeah. Farm. But then, I suppose and, and then the day after, then they come and you know finish up the food and For the, the, yeah. the yeah, yeah, I think Phyllis was the last one, wasn't there? Johnny, we went to that. We had fun there. Oh, Johnny Nebraska. Johnny Shiller. Younger's brother in Nebraska. We had fun there. What's he still there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that the one to he pay? sold that house no. and he moved to another one, a bigger one, <laughs> two people, a bigger house, but they're widening that road, so he wanted to get out. He didn't want to get out. Yeah. He was right next to Boys Town. Boys Town. Boys Town. We stopped there several times. We used to drive. Huh. What's he used to doing to? He wasn't to that last wedding, was he? Yeah, he was too. Johnny was there. Johnny and Frankie both. Victor was there too. Victor was there, yeah. yeah. And his boy. But yeah. Frankie Frank. can't dance like anymore. He oh, gets Frank tired out. He's, he's really slow. Yeah. yeah. He's slow. Gosh, yeah. How many are we bypasses? He just had that one. He says, the heck with the rest. He said, when I go, this time I go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, he drives a bus and he's got a big bunch of cattle. What's yeah. he do with them? I bet you he's got about 60 heads. He miles. raises, he just raises yeah, them. Makes he hay. raises them, but what's, what's well, he got? Well, he sells them once in a while. Well, he, he can sell them, yeah. Yeah, but who else is up there with them? Nobody. Nobody. He's just neighbors <laughs> in there. No, he, oh, he, he's got a good, he knows he's a lot right. of people. Oh, yeah, Doug is still this, there. Mary, this he is knows. a place where he's back in a, up against national parks where big bears come yeah, through. Yeah, they're bears. Right yeah, they'll be snorting we next to you at night. No, no we got, way. We never yeah. saw bears. No, yes, yeah. we got pictures there. Yeah, and I tell you, I'd be tired from just start slipping and sliding. No, no. But you know, know, my pants, right? You, you, you know what I did once? <laughs> we drove out there, the last time we drove out. See? And he's right in, right up against that mountain, there's Bear Mountain, that's what they call it. Yeah. But he's, he's right in the valley. It's beautiful in there. And, um, I drove when I was tired, you know. So, so I, we got there probably in, at noon, so I had a bike. I walked way around the barn, way up in that heavy, you step on it, just, you know. Mush, yeah. And that's, that's, that's not mush, but moss and all that stuff. Bog, yeah. Yeah, and your trees are so. And I, I sat down on the log, I was, I was resting, then you went to sleep, and I looked up. I could see something, it wasn't too far. <laughs> it was about full of 40 feet. <laughs> and, and it was like that, you know. There was something. I said, what the hell? And then a leaf or wind blowing? The wind ain't blowing. You go down again. Yeah, bear scratching. No, no. And I looked at that thing for a while. I got up and I walked over there. You know what it was? Orphan. He, his, he, cow. He, his cow. His cow. Laying down in the woods and the damn flies and he flipped his ear. <laughs> <laughs> she, she was laying way back in the woods. Orphan. <laughs> yeah, that one time we were there, they yeah. had uh, Edgar the Goose. 
He had the goats and the uh, <laughs> yeah. Siamese cat. That crazy goose was something. And after we left, they all died. <laughs> Uh, he follow, he follow and that, played with he followed them. around, he thought, because he was raised by people with yeah. goose. He thought it was a, yeah. person. And then, and then uh, I milked a goat for the first time. And then Sharon says, how come the goat didn't kick you? I had Frankie's old coveralls on. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no any difference. He, uh, I didn't know any difference. Must have known that I had his coveralls on. <laughs> first time I ever milked the goats. <laughs> they had a, you know, he had a big lake on it, well, a part of the, a big dam. Yeah, it's only two. But he's only got two. Yeah, yeah, two handles instead of four. Once you get going. Yeah. 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 got four handles. How do, you, how do you milk a cow by hand with four, four handles? Oh, this thing, two, two, two at a time. Two at a time. Oh. Yeah. A lot longer though, isn't it? No. We used to milk 14 each by hand. Uh, 15 then when I was on a farm home. Then we finally got a damn milking machine. There was one car I still remember. The guy put the milking machine and she, she kicked that then milking machine up against the other side of the of the bar. <laughs> the legs were flying all he wanted to have nothing to do with that. that. <laughs> then we finally he got it on. I remember Rusty used to go after the flies. Yeah. And the gutter. Sick. That's what it is. Oh yeah, I'm getting all this fly. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> go after those flies. Not flies, but bees. Bees. Oh, yeah, God. bees. You oh. see Mary. There's a bee around. Her. She's gone. I don't like oh, bees either. God, she's good, gone. Good. I don't like bees. Now, what's he else is he? But no one's living there with him? Oh, Frankie? Frankie? No. There's the well, Doug is there. Who's Doug? That's Sharon's nep nephew. Yeah, she likes but he, uh, he was always staying there. But now he's married, but they live in that cabin there now. But I don't know if I was going to chase him out. I should show you the, the, the old cabin we rebuilt. A lot. Yeah, I remember you were talking. Yeah, I should show those pictures sometimes. We built that whole thing. I don't think you see my choppers. When, when it was, uh, I got them all redone. Really? All, all up at Marquette University. Really? Looks nice. Yeah. These are, I think they're nine. All kept is gold and then they're porcelain. Hmm. I don't know how many is it. Oh, nine? Marquette Dental School. Yeah, was it? yeah, but they, I guess they're going to close up if they don't get <laughs> money for it. The, I had a had four, money to run that. I went in there and uh, I wanted to, I said, come. Because I never took care of it too much, you know, just the damn thing hurt pulling off, that's all. And, <laughs> and so the guy looked at me. He says, he took the uh, the students. Yeah, I guess different students, but I guess they always do a little bit too too much work for him. This one student, Lance Hashimoto from Hawaii. Uh -huh. He was there third third year. And then I think he stayed another year. See, he, he was he was damn good. He was one of the best. Lucky I got him. And um, I sat in that chair one time. I went there at 9:30, and I sat there till 4:30. Right? Never got up. Oh my God. Never got up. He did all of these teeth. You know, he points them to so they can fit the yeah. teeth in. And I sat right there. All the hair, all uh, they gold, gold, solid gold underneath that, and then they're porcelain on them. And he fit them each separate. When he fit them in, they were in other words, they don't, they're permanent. Yeah, permanent. They're permanent. Yeah. They're my old teeth, but these are, you know, uh, uh, they made them all new. And then back here, I got gold ones. And then I just got this one little. Uh, you could, are you to, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you will in that? What? You will I told him when he died, I'm going to take him off. <laughs> 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 you got to with cheese on it. You really got it. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, really hard. Yeah. Only one of the uh, one of said it. Yeah, the rest. You did a real good job. What did he do back when? What did he do when your parents were? When when you were growing up and all that stuff. The tooth hurt. What did he do then? Yeah, you I remember. Doctor it up with uh, the what? Elspice or cloves, uh, cloves, cloves or element. Go get the damn thing. Pull her out. They pull it at home. Somebody yeah. or some old. <laughs> oh. They pull them out. And then I remember Dad would go in and he come out. First thing he come out for that damn dentist, he come down to the car, pull out, and take a chew back. I don't hate you. Then he had a spittoon and spit right in. No, he never. He never. Uh, yeah, he used to use that when I saw. Uh, well, what, what did you guys do? Where did you eat though? And what did you? Where did you well, I don't know. We were in Tarp. That's it. <laughs> yeah. But what I thought you were in Chicago. Oh no. Well, sure. after we, I was working in at that uh, Eau Claire. Ordnance plants. Yeah, she worked at Eau Claire during the war. Yeah. 
Yeah. She was oh. a, a boss lady there. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And there were they were, 12, 12 people they were making the shells. Okay. They were right around the table. No, this much, oh. this much. And some of the older ladies didn't like it because she was the youngest one there and she was the boss. Oh. Well, your mother worked there too. Yeah, she worked there too. Because they stayed in. Yeah. So, yeah, we well, okay then. Yeah, but she said. Oh, where did you guys meet? Yeah. I thought you said you weren't in Chicago. Yeah, it was before that. Did she well, come before that? Yeah. Oh, when yeah, I before. was 14 or 15, when Aunt Harriet sent uh, four of us girls to uh, beauty school. She got her Harriet little... did that? Aunt Harriet. Yeah, Aunt My oh, Aunt Harriet. Yeah. No. Aunt Harriet. She's gone now, too. She's, she died, too. She used to uh, work with draperies. We used to, uh, after our that night, go help her out once in a while. And she was kind of busy with him drapes. She oh. made them to order. See, that's a lot of things that you don't see, or you don't hear about, because it's all gone. Yeah, uh, well, you know, the kids well. don't, yeah, that's why, yeah. That's why I got all these kids, Irish here, each one doing something. <laughs> that's good for them. Said uh, she made a bunny, and she wanted to get it done for Ellen's uh, wedding here, so I helped her finish the dress on that bunny. So I finished up, and she liked the way I did it. She started, but she, she got the patience to do that fine work, and that was hard, that satin, to work with. You know where she was yesterday? She knows somebody up in Cedarburg. Cedarburg. And he's a blacksmith. He's, I don't know, 30 or 35 years, and he makes all, he was at the White House, he made he different things. He makes stuff for the White House. Even places. he traveled across Europe. Europe yeah. And he makes all this ornamental. So. Some pretty fancy stuff. And she went there and she, he said she was teacher, so she went there yesterday. And she, she made different things. Little things. She's pretty cute. But did she? Oh, did my wrist hurt? She says they stopped with him. And she said, oh, her wrist was getting wimpy. What's that? Cynthia. She because goes, you're, you're not that. used to that, you know. You're pounding, pounding. Yeah, on the anvil. Yeah. Yeah. And, but she made, she made different kind things too. She turned them out and flattened them out. That's it. But he, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I talked to Cynthia. I called her up this morning. You and, did? Yeah, I, yeah. She called? No, I, I called her first. Oh. It, by the time I got to her, it was about the fifth person. There was a party going on over there someplace. Somebody was, was at our house? Oh, yeah. I, I about five or six people answered the phone before it finally I, got the pet. Uh, oh, yeah. I, yeah. I, that, that could be, because it had to be there. There's a hellacious party there. I wouldn't doubt that. Because yeah. we, we had all Angie was there? No, we had, we had it all thing. set no. up. Yeah. Band, I heard a band. Oh, yeah, yeah. We had it all set up. We had it all set up for her. I told her, I says, you know, when my when my pa used to go, man, that tractor, that tractor, we were gone. <laughs> Boom! And, and my chickens. Oh, you should see that station wagon you used to have, that red, the, 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 what's that, green one? Yeah, that was a nice Boy, we used to take that thing out. I didn't have a driver's license. <laughs> we both pile oh, like, oh, see, we we'd go down on 124th that. and we'd just make them, we back it up. <laughs> we, then we put it in the tire. And she's spinning and we make a donut kind of, you know, it's like this, you know, in a tire. It was a real soft tire. Uh, and we the take first on. time I heard of that. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, we take the truck out, get the battery, we take that, uh, that, that yellow one you had, that truck. Yeah, yeah I don't regret that. Statler and stuff, we get out Oh, no, Dale did that all. Dale did yeah, that. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right, Dale. Yeah. Rick was a good instigator himself. <laughs> and then shoot the, the damn chickens, they'd shoot them off the barn. Oh, we used to get run up, we used to get ripped nice up. Nice heavy down. chickens that were good for soup and yeah. stuff. And, and we thought the coons got it. Yeah, we won't do that anymore, though. No, no, no I guess. Got a cat, the cat this morning out here. Now I'm going to catch a dig out in the front over here. I shot one today yeah, with a BB gun. Oh, Just a BB gun. What did they do? Meow! Nah, you poop all over the, you know, and yeah. then you get on. What, what the hell is it? You can do something that'll get rid of them. Mothballs. Mothballs. Yeah, but that's... Yeah, yeah. sticks everything. Did you ever, you ever see mothballs? Oh, yeah. Oh, how the heck you get the legs apart? <laughs> 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 yeah, you know what? That old damn Tom Cat of Holman's, you know? He'd come out and he'd be sitting, he'd be sitting about halfway to the house, and he'd be <laughs> looking. Takes a broom or a stick and he's wrong after. No, that one time I damn near caught him. <laughs> this is the last swat and he was across. <laughs> I took a cross, I tell you, man, that poor old cat. There was an orange cat that, the other no, day. No, no, but uh, that old time guy, I mean, that the black other day one. I seen it, across the road. Yeah, we really all was over there. And so I had uh, Jeff and uh, when I helped him on that stuff, they uh, putting in cupboards and whatever there was. And we moved the wall there too for him and the oh. gun shop. He gave me one of these pellets. Rifles, you know, yeah, with a, with a sight on them. Uh -huh. And I 
Took a lot of the old, I see him sitting there. We're just sitting right up in there, looking and looking and looking and all the time. You said it again. So I went out the bedroom window. <laughs> Open the window. Right? Then I pop, and that son of a gun, he went <laughs> right up around it. Six feet, he swung around in the air, and he took off that way. <laughs> He, oh, I never see him. He turned direction right in the air. Yeah. God, he did he go. That was scary. That was pure scary. <laughs> but he got to me. I must have hit him oh. because he threw a But he said of cats. He said because you know they they kill so much. He had in the paper here. Oh, they How get much in they the woods. Kill? They, yeah. They'll kill. They, that's why we we want those communions all around here. We want to keep them around here. You know. But they said they'll wipe out everything in, in you know. They yeah, wild, the cats are into the everything. woods. Yeah, they'll yeah. kill all the little birds. That's just nature. Mama they'll cat is something. Used to get the little birds. She's chubby chicks with little birds. And he'd drop it by the door and wanted to bring it in for kittens. So she'd yeah. oh, kick it up and she'd go right back and bring it back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was in nature, but you know. Yeah, well, that's it. Sure, they're they're uh, a hunting animal. Then the kids said, "Well, you should have something a little dog." I said, "Don't you dare! I don't want nothing there." Nothing. No. I want to go someplace with him. Don't yeah. Have to. Yeah. They got you. How many years? We moved in here in 1959. You moved into New York. I don't recall. No, 61. We've been no, 30 59. years. 30. 60, 61. That's when Pa was working in Milwaukee. 50, 50, 50, 50. 59. We've been there 30 or 29 or 30 years. 30 right? years. We came there in 60, 61. 60 of August. <laughs> well, I wasn't too far off. <laughs> <laughs> But that was. Uh, you were going to ask how, how long have you had the cat? No, no. Yeah, how long have you had Father Furnace? Or? Yeah, they got you know they, they got, got, they got a furnace. In there. Oil furnace. Oil you know, furnace. That, finally. Last week I hooked it there. Tracy said, "What is that? What is that? Thermostat. Al found one of these I am sweating here with this chair. And I just. Uh, you want to sit over here? It's not cold. No, no. cool here. You know, I, don't know, I like that. I usually put a rug on. I built a, a rug. Grab a rug. Must well, be 10, 10, 10, 11 years ago, I built that uh, chimney for a guy. Well, it's Frankie's uh, mother. Charles' uh, mother there. And I heard the whole hearth and the fireplace and all. I built it all in a brick for him. And I took that then. That's a lot. I took that dog on a little uh, oil brick first. Been sitting in the sun. Al had it there in his garage for a while. The last week I said, off we go, I said, Cindy's going to see that. But I said, it's going to be in the morning, you know, when you get up where it gets me stopped. I hooked it up and polished it off so nice. Where'd you, where'd you hook it up, though? I put it right alongside the other the old big roof that's down in the basement. Okay. Yeah. And then I I run a cold air return okay, bag. Okay, down. And then I run one, just one into the kitchen, that's all. Oh yeah, I get oil barrels standing out there. This furnace was sitting on there about 15 years. <laughs> you, you, you just oh, it's can't. already been there. Okay. Yeah. You just can't. Uh, yeah, can't rush it. Can't yeah. rush those yeah. things. That thing I ain't that, doing nothing to the house. I'm no. hoping we sell it so we don't have to fix nothing. Up. Uh, well, I got a shower too. When Is Rosie it? come, I put a shower. She too. says. Is, uh, did you tell Pa about the shower? I says, yeah. Uh, she says, well, you got an oil umbrella. Tip it upside down. Hook it on that curtain on those. <laughs> Yeah, the basement. in the basement. I wouldn't think of it. I told him that that morning. Yeah. When he got done with breakfast, I knew he started taking a part. So we got a shower and upstairs. Oh, yeah, boy, am I glad he went. Because when my wrist would hurt me so bad. I said, boy, well, if I could go on the truck, I'd slip and make it. You know what I did? I went up in the oh, barn. Well, I found an eight foot piece of condo. And that's what I got for the rod. <laughs> <laughs> shower <hurt. laughs> Sure. Good. I had a hard time Good. finding uh well they were all you know, we thought we could hook it to the faucet. But they're all such a big you couldn't find the end to put it out there. So I got it wrong. So we found one there, but he had a narrow it where it was six inches he had to narrow it down to four inches. So we're not found a nice square about that with a with the uh, uh yeah, the melamine right. or what on the side it was it was shiny a, stuff, you know? It was, it was a pen. Okay. Put that on and set it right in up against that, but that looks perfect. <laughs> what else did I get up in the bar there? Yeah, I've got a shower right there too. That's all you need. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Sure gonna get a lot of messy in here if somebody turns that thing on. Just for when you go out, they wash off when when, when you're in the water. Oh. Wash off. But I don't know why they have it there and went into a hook it onto the side of the building there. Well, sure. yes. It's probably going to. I have to hook it out. Well, just side. take a little hose. 